हरे कृष्णा इज सेक्स प्लेजर द रिजल्ट ऑफ हॉर्मोन्स और इज इट सिंपली अ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द माइंड इमेजिनेशन आंसर इट इज बोथ सोल इज द सोर्स ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस एंड द सोल इज द लोकस ऑफ ऑल एक्सपीरियंसिस द सोल इज कवर्ड बाई द सेटल बॉडी एंड देन बाय द ग्रॉस बॉडी सो द सोल्स कॉन्शियसनेस इज रूटेड थ्रू द सेटल बॉडी टू द ग्रॉस बॉडी टू द आउटर वर्ल्ड सो वेन द सोल एंगेज इन सेंस ग्रेटिफिकेशन एट दैट टाइम द सेंसेस कम इन कॉन्टैक्ट विद सेंस ऑब्जेक्ट्स नाउ वेन इज देर एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ प्लेजर when there is say for example <clears throat> when uh, infant uh, drinks milk from a mother's breast now there is nothing uh, sexual about that because the sec- the sexual uh, sexual glands and the sexual uh, there is no sexual sexual glands have not been developed in the body at that time so there are no there is no hormonal secretion and there are no thoughts of that kind which can occur in the infant so that means for the sexual pleasure to be experienced the puberty has to be attained so the biological condition that is there is important without that the uh, without that uh, sexual pleasure cannot be experienced but then we also have prahlad maharaj stating that manasijam he says that what is the nature of this pleasure yan maithuna adi graham edi sukham ituchyam kandu yanena karayor iva dukha dukham तृप्यंतिनेह कृपणा बहु दुख भाजा कंडूतिव मनसिज विषहेत धीर सो हि से प्लेजर इज मनसिज इट इज बॉर्न फ्रॉम द माइंड एंड एक्चुअली इज ऑल्सो कंडूतिव कंडूतिव मीन्स इट इज रबिंग ऑफ फ्लैश लाइक स्क्रैचिंग ऑफ एन एच सो अगेन हि इज गिविंग अ मेन्टल एंड अ फिजिकल कॉम्पोनेंट टू इट सो लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट हि इज सेंग ओवर हियर सो now as i said if the if the biological gland if the if there is not the hormones are not secreted then there is no there is no there is no sexual experience over there but even when there is the biological capacity the hormones are there say a person is unconscious and the person is unconscious and say the person comes in contact with the sense object now if the generally when the person is unconscious there is there will be no activation of the mind there is no stimulation of the imagination and that's why there is no agitation there is uh, no, there is no secretion of hormones and there is no that sense of excitement that is there and there is no feeling of pleasure over there so there also has to be the exercise there has to be the stimulation of the mind the imagination the mind has to imagine and then one experiences pleasure now either way the point of analyzing this whether we analyze sexual pleasure in terms of hormones or in terms of the mind's imagination when chipla mara says when it is manasijam <clears throat> when he says that it is uh, it is the pleasure that is a pro- it is a product of the mind now when we say it is the mind's imagination does not it does not mean that the pleasure is imaginary it means that, that the pleasure is produced by imagination there two different things the pleasure is not imaginary the pleasure is produced by imagination imaginary means that which doesn't exist only and so now actually when the senses come in contact with sense objects there is a pleasure over there they or for that matter when we eat some food at that time there is a pleasure when we taste some gulab jamun there is pleasure over there at lad mara also in earlier verse states that madhulla way he says there is pleasure it is like honey but then he says it's very small quantity of honey lavai very very just a drop uh, a very small drop but still that drop is there no doubt about it so there is pleasure over there in fact uh, in the kaushitaki upanishad various levels of pleasure are compared and then brahman happiness is said to be thousands of time more than uh, sensual happiness so that means sensual happiness is also there sensual happiness is zero and thousands of times zero will also be zero so it's not zero there is some happiness definitely in this world now when the, the sensual happiness is not ima- is not imaginary it is real but it is a product of imagination means to to feel that pleasure one has to exercise one's imagination and that's why to stimulate people's imagination there is so much uh, 
paraphernalia in this world. You know, there are movies, there are ero uh, there are erotic images, and there are erotic paintings, and there are erot even pornographic movies. And all this is for what purpose? <clears throat> to excite the mind, to agitate the mind, to stimulate it, to excite the imagination. So the, uh, the stimulation of the imagination leads to the generation of the hormones. And a generation of the hormones leads to uh, to <coughs> to the experience of pleasure so the point is that actually the pleasure is very very tiny as Prana says Madhul it is insignificant Tucham as he says but because there is so much propaganda Shruti Sukha he says we all hear about it in this world people talk about it and we hear about it and we think oh there must be so much pleasure over here and then we get excited by it and then because the real experience of that pleasure is so insignificant, we can't believe it. How can this? You know, everybody is glamorizing this pleasure so much and the actual experience is so little. How is this possible? So then we think, I must be doing something wrong. And we try to imagine, how can I get this pleasure better? And then uh, people try to read uh, books on, on how to have better sex or go to some sexologists and lie on their coach, coaches and try to find out how I can improve my sex life. So all this is, uh, is trying to stimulate the imagination. So the whole purpose of scripture is, either way, so we can analyze from the point of view of uh, modern science and biology and say that the pleasure is simply because of hormonal excitement. And the hormones are not going to last for long. The hormones are going to get exhausted. And that's why this pleasure is going to go away soon. So we can say, that's why even scientists say that, social scientists say that romance has a bench life of nine months. Because when, uh, say, a boy and a girl meet each other, the sense of newness that is there and people feel a sense of thrill. Sometimes they say, when I touch you, I feel as if electricity is going through my body. And people make songs about this. So all that is what? It's a secretion of hormones. And that hormonal excitement, at the most, it lasts for nine months. And afterward, that all the novelty goes away. And then yes, the relationship may continue and people can have a happy marriage, but that requires sacrifice, that requires commitment. One has to go beyond just depending on hormonal excitement for that. One has to develop a selflessness in the relationship. Uh, so the point is, either way, if you look at the hormones, uh, then the hormones are not going to last for long. And anyway, we are not our hormones. Uh, there are, uh, <clears throat> so we shouldn't sensationalize the pleasure that comes from sensations. So from the hormonal analysis, we will understand these are just biological signals. There is no need for me to get excited because I am not a merely a product of biology. And if you think of it in terms of what Lama is saying, Manasija, then also we can think that hey, this pleasure, I, actually it is just when I imagine something, I get some little pleasure. But the imagination is far, far greater than the actualization. The imagination is huge and the actualization is an anticlimax. Therefore, I will not get excited about this. And that is Prahlad Maharaj's conclusion. Kandutivan manasijam vishahet dhiraha. Vishahet. Tolerate it. Don't indulge in it. And then here, the other example he uses that of scratching an itch. So here also the point is, when we scratch an itch, the relief that we experience is real. In the sense that we experience the relief. But, it is not real in the sense that actually that relief aggravates the aggravates the pain and in that sense it's actually not a relief. It's going to cause a, a greater pain. So therefore the solution is tolerate. So either way whether we want to analyze the sexual pleasure from a hormonal perspective or from mental imagination perspective the point we need to focus on is that it is not all that it is made out to be. It is actually a very small pleasure and we shouldn't get excited about it. Rather, we should focus on Sukhena Brahma Samsparsham Atyantam Sukhamashnate. Krishna says in 6.28 that Sukhena Brahma Samsparsham When we come in contact with Brahma, the Param Brahma is Krishna. When we come in contact with Krishna, then Atyantam Sukhamashnate. We experience the ultimate happiness. So that is the happiness that can eternally excite, satisfy and uh, keep us ecstatic and that is what we should aspire for. Thank you. Hare.